This week's feast. Wait, hold on. What are you doing behind there? Get over here. Hey, hold on, I'm setting up the frame. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready? Yep. In five, four, three, two. Spaghetti <laughs> Tacos! Ow! Guys, we're so excited. Today we have Nathan Kress, aka yeah. Freddie Benson, joining us. And for all you VGHS fans, you may recognize him as the incredible New Law from season three. But before we get started, guys, spaghetti tacos are very simple. They are absurdly simple. You take some taco shells, you make some paschetti, and <laughs> you combine the two. Yep. <laughs> yes. You know, the thing is, though, we are here to make the best, absolute best spaghetti tacos in town. We have the expert here. That's me. Talk us through it. I am the expert. Competition level spaghetti tacos. I like the sound of that. Let's cook. Let's do it. <laughs> Ingredients assemble. So the meat of the cooking in this episode is going to be how we made our homemade meatballs. No pun intended. We'll be combining Parmesan cheese, garlic, salt and pepper, eggs, onion, parsley, breadcrumbs, and basil. Simply throw them all together in the mixing bowl and combine them thoroughly with a fork or a whisk. We're going to make these meatballs to be taco shell sized, so roll them out smaller than you normally would and place them onto a baking pan lined with aluminum foil. Pop it in the oven, and would you look at that, check out how delicious these look. After you're done, go ahead and boil some water and cook your spaghetti. Heat up some marinara sauce in a pan, add that together, and there you go. So to make these tacos, we're going to have meatballs, spaghetti, cheese, and chopped parsley all put into a taco shell. It's as simple as that. So now that our ingredients are prepared, it's time to assemble some tacos. But we decided that while we're here, we should probably turn this into a competition. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we'll choose our weapon, aka our utensil of choice, and see who could put together the best tasting taco. And how are we going to decide which one tastes best? Uh, kiwi. Kiwi. She got the best sense of smell, and therefore the best sense of taste. Naturally, she's going to have to be the judge. So what we're going to do is we're going to make tacos, put them on plates, and whichever one kiwi goes to first is the winner. Look at me. Look at me. I will win. I will win. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. She's, she's the comforting hand on my shoulder. <laughs> All right, so we have a spoon, a fork, and chopsticks to work with here. Nathan, being our guest, you get to choose first. You're so nice. Anytime, buddy. Um, I feel like the natural choice. I, I'm sorry. I, I, it's a fork. It's yeah. got to be fork. And because I'm just next to him, I go next, so I'm going to oh. take the chopsticks. Oh. So nice of you. Such a gentleman. I guess that leaves me with the spoon. Let's make some tacos. All right. Yeah. I'm glad this isn't a speed thing. I know. <laughs> you know what? I have I have another idea. No one can. This is copyrighted. <laughs> this is all. See, I was curious. If does the spaghetti always have to go first? But evidently. Apparently not. not. Apparently not. You know it what? It was never laid out by the creator of iCarly what the exact. Ordering. Yeah, it's all it's, it's all. It's really what you make it though, right? Okay. Yeah, so would you boys just like to take a look at the first taco that has been made? How'd you do it so quickly? Because I'm the boss with the spoon. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look. This looks amazing. My chopsticks can only do one thing at a time. All right, let's take a look for camera. What? Uh, very nice. Ooh, very different and iteration. And finally, very 20 different. years later, the boys join me. You know what? You can't Done. rush art. Time to go to the starting line. Prepare to lose, suckers. <laughs> Ooh. All right, this is the order it's going to go in as well. Nathan, myself, actually. Here are the tacos. The kiwi has been prepared, ready for action. And go! She's off licking her lips ready for this feast. She eyes the tacos, but isn't sure if she's allowed to eat them. What? The humans say it's okay? All right, then. Let me take a look here and... Uh, do we have a winner? Oh, oh yes! Oh. Yes, we do! Ah, yes. Spaghetti tacos from iCarly. Simple as they may seem, the flavor packs a punch, and there are all kinds of ways for you to build yours. You can try out some variations next time you're in the kitchen. Oh, and try not to eat all the meatballs beforehand, okay? Dog testing is done. Real testing is about to begin. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Taco time. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The key to eating these well is also a purposeful bite. Mm -hmm. If you just kind of go halfway through the taco, you're gonna pull everything out, and yeah. then it's just a mess. You gotta go bit by bit, all the way through the sucker. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nice piece of advice from the master himself. Mm-hmm. Years of practice. <laughs> we never had him this good on the set, though. <laughs> Although there was one time, um, craft services actually made total coincidence. 
They happen to just have spaghetti in the crafty area in a taco station. Oh! So they had the shells laying around, and they had the spaghetti and the meatballs, and I'll be darned if I didn't make myself a few of those that day. <laughs> Whoa! I was crafty me. confused. We're like, what are these guys doing? Uh -huh. Spaghetti and tacos. Together? You have no idea. You know, I've never had anything like this before. When I saw it on the show, I was like, oh, that's cute. But these are actually really good. Mm -hmm. Man, thank you so much for showing us how hey, to do this. Hey, yeah, this is my awesome. pleasure. I'm glad I could show you guys the ropes of an authentic high carly spaghetti taco. Wow. Yeah. It was an honor. So awesome. The other thing though, that we have to keep in mind is that this would not be possible without the creator of iCarly coming up with the idea for the spaghetti taco in some dark writer's room somewhere. <laughs> so to Dan Schneider, the creator of iCarly, and thereby Dan. the creator of the Spaghetti Dan. Taco, thank you for coming up with this stuff and letting us enjoy it. Cheers Thanks for making you, a worldwide phenomenon. That too. And congratulations on your engagement. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Hello, fiance. If you're watching, I, I don't know. <laughs> are you guys gonna have spaghetti tacos at your wedding? We are now. <laughs> That's going to happen. It's going to save a lot of money too, right? It's going to save a ton. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Let us know in the comments below what you want us to make next time. Till then, random dancing! <laughs>